relationship. Like I was just saying, I like it very much when I'm at the top of it, mm. when I'm at the bottom of the incline. Oh, not really a fan. But it is a great workout. Happy to have it back open because it's such a cool thing to have right here in our backyards. Tomorrow, if you are going to be hiking the incline, I think the conditions should be actually perfect. I like to do the incline when it's nice and chilly outside because then you don't get overheated. And that's exactly the kind of morning we'll be tracking tomorrow. Here's a look at that storm system that moved over Southern California, now pushing across New Mexico and southern parts of Colorado, sliding into Oklahoma and Texas. The bulk of this rain is really falling off to our south. However, we are getting in on some of those showers around the Wets and Sangres, around Los Animas and Baca counties. Near Lamar, we're getting a bit of rain as well, and that's where we expect most of these showers to stay. Really south and along Highway 50 as we head through the rest of the evening. So here's a look at your SkyCast, and SkyCast is painting just that. As we take you into the rest of the night tonight, the showers are going to continue to move east as the storm system itself continues to push off toward the east. So by 1030, we should see a lot of those storms really focused across the Colorado-Kansas border. And then as we head toward midnight, most of the activity is going to come to an end. Temperatures tonight will be dropping into the 20s and 30s with a few spots dropping into the teens. Alamosa falling into that category. Tomorrow morning, as you're heading out the door, We'll have plenty of clouds around, especially up across the high country. And it will be over the mountains where we will track once again a few showers developing right around lunchtime, continuing to expand as we head into the afternoon. Here's a look at 3 o'clock for the ski resorts. A little bit of fresh snow on the slopes. Great, just in time for the weekend. But for the rest of us, we should see the skies beginning to clear as we head through the afternoon and into the evening. So a much drier day for most of southern Colorado tomorrow. Temperatures are back in the 50s. We'll hit 53 in Colorado Springs, 55 in Pueblo with temperatures getting into the mid to upper 50s for the southeastern corner of the state. Coldest spots on the map, once again, Leadville and Gunnison just getting into the mid 30s. Jumping ahead to your seven day forecast, we are going to be tracking another wave that pushes through. It's not going to bring us any rain or snow, but what it will do is drop your Saturday temperatures and also kick up the wind on Saturday. So as you're planning your weekend, Saturday not looking like the best of the two weekend days. Temperatures will be a bit more seasonal, only getting into the 40s, but by Sunday, we'll warm up about 10 degrees. We're back in the mid 50s and we'll keep the 50s around all the way through next week. Check out next Thursday, looking to be the warmest day of the next week, with high temperatures falling just short of the 60 degree mark. Pueblo, 55 degrees tomorrow, 50 on Saturday. So, Saturday day wall cooler. It's really not going to be that bad. Temperatures will still be well above where they should be this time of year. 58 degrees on Sunday, 53 Monday. We'll keep the low 50s around through Tuesday and then bump it into the 50s before we get into the 60s by next Thursday. Canyon City, 58 degrees tomorrow, 51 on Saturday, mid 50s all the way through Tuesday and then upper 50s Wednesday into Thursday. Not a chance for rain or snow over the next seven days. Teller County, you'll be under the gun for a few sprinkles as we head through the rest of your evening tonight, but tomorrow we're going to dry it out. You'll see the sunshine return as well. 47 degrees will be your Friday high temperature. 44 on Saturday with temperatures in the 40s through Wednesday and then even Teller County getting in on that warmth. Next Thursday, high temperatures in the 50s and mm. I mean, we wow. are in the month of December and we are tracking 40s, 50s, and 60s. Can't really complain about that. No excuses to procrastinate putting up your holiday decorations. Uh, yeah. Get that task done because it's <laughs> only a matter of time before those temperatures fall. It's All of that will change mm -hmm. very soon. It will. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. Well, one of the Blue Angels.